My name's Kelsey, I'm 22 years old. I have a four-year-old daughter named Lila. I live here in Mechanicsburg. I've lived here on and off my whole life. Um, I live with my wonderful mom, Jennifer, and I'm currently working at a pizza shop. <laughs> my life before God was chaos. It was addiction to the worst. Anything and everything I could get my hands on, I did. I was trying to escape reality in any way. I felt God knocking on the door, but I pushed and I pushed him away. My daughter got taken when I was 10 months old because I loved heroin more than her. And after I lost her, I didn't care. I didn't care if I died. I didn't care if there was a God. I didn't care what my family thought. I just wanted to escape reality. I've been to prison six times. I've been to eight rehabs, one halfway house, and three recovery houses without any luck. I was in the day room in Dolphin County Prison on a bunk and I saw a Bible for weeks and I just kept looking at it and I'd look away and I would want to read it and I just, I wouldn't. And then one day something came over me and I picked up that Bible and I started reading and I didn't stop reading. And seven months later, still in there, I was in a prison cell and I got down on my knees and I looked up and I say, Lord God, if you hear me, I want to be yours. I accept you. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose three days later. I want you and only you, you are Lord. And I just put my hands up and I cried and I cried and I cried. On March 28th, 2014, I was at a church in Wormleysburg and I had the most beautiful experience with the Holy Spirit that most would not believe. And I just laid there with my eyes open on the ground, crying happily tears for His mercy and His love and His goodness in my life. After I asked Christ to be my Lord and Savior, my life was far from perfect. I failed, I relapsed. I made my family cry, I made myself cry, I disappointed a lot of people, more importantly, I disappointed God, but every time I knew what I was doing was wrong. I was in the dark before and now I'm in the light, and now I don't have an excuse for my behavior. I know what to do. I just wanna do this as an expression of my love to the world to show them that I wanna follow Jesus Christ forever. And I don't wanna backstep on where I've came and where I'm going to go. And this will be a reminder to myself, to God, and to my family, my commitment. God has led me to At The Cross Recovery, my mother and I. It has been a blessing. I encourage to go because there are amazing people who I've only known for a short period that will do anything to help me. And I will be an At The Cross Recovery member for a very long time. I personally want to thank my mother, my sister, my grandparents, my father, everyone at McBick that has helped me, my counselor in prison who made me who I am today. I give so much credit to God and for my support, for never giving up on me even when I felt like they did, and for loving me when I couldn't love myself, and for everyone who has helped me on my journey. I love you all so much, and I can't wait to show the world what I'm made of.